It almost always darkens and it almost always causes a lot of distress to the patient. So wavelength is one important thing. Of course, settings as well, even if you are using the correct wavelength of laser to target the pigmentation, if you're overdoing or you're using a power that's too strong, you cause too much inflammation, yes, you get the same problem of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. The third reason could be using the wrong mode of pico lasers. Pico lasers these days come with an LIOB mode, light induced optical breakdown. This mode we use for resurfacing of the skin, we use for collagen stimulation of the skin. In patients with severe hyperpigmentation like melasma patients, if you were to use the LIOB mode improperly, you will also cause darkening of the pigmentation. The last one is post care. If you have done a pico laser treatment for your patient and if the patient has not been instructed to use good skin care to calm the skin and to rest the skin adequately, you could also run into trouble of post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. In short, pico laser is not the be all and end all for all sorts of pigmentation. It has to be used correctly, it has to be used appropriately, and sometimes it might not even be the solution for the patient who has a hyperpigmentary disorder. So there might be other adjunct treatments or even just simple skincare that could help the patient achieve better skin and lightening of the pigmentation. Before you jump into any pico laser treatments blindly, just thinking that it's going to lighten your pigmentation, make sure you have a nice long discussion with your medical practitioner to decide what is the best course of treatment uh, for you and to make sure that the pico laser treatment or any other treatment that you're embarking on is really the right one for you.